Gemini, you need to know this right now for June the 5th through June the 6th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for June the 5th through June the 6th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for June the 5th through June the 6th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for June the 5th through June the 6th, 2024. Show me. Happy birthday, Gemini. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Gemini, you need to repent and get your life together, honey. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Gemini, these are your cards, honey. Gemini, you have the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. Clear for the Seven of Cups. For Gemini, clarify the Seven of Cups. For Gemini, clarify the Seven of Cups. For Gemini, it is clarified with the star. <laughs> Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Clarify the star for Gemini. Clarify the star for Gemini. Clarify the star for Gemini. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Gemini, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now, Gemini, listen, you can tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument. There's some type of confusion here, and you're needing to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. You could also tell me that they started a passionate new beginning, with other options here and you're needing to heal individually on your own or you're all up in your head fantasizing and wishing that you guys can start new here. Gemini, you have the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords. 
for Gemini. Clarify the Six of Swords. For Gemini. Clarify the Six of Swords. For Gemini. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Gemini, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, you can tell me that you're hoping that you guys heal things and start new and restore you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, and family dynamics, and just put it behind you. Let bygones be bygones. Or you're telling me that... Someone started a passion in the beginning with other options here. Or there was some type of heated discussion or argument, some type of confusion here. And you're wanting to end things and just move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Gemini, you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Well, this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune. For Gemini, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Gemini, clarify the wheel of fortune. For Gemini. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Gemini, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Gemini, <clears throat> it is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Gemini, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now Gemini, listen, you can tell me that there's a timing thing here and you're waiting. Concerning you guys' commitment here, you can tell me that it's an actual change in your luck and fortune here. You're looking at these coins. You could be sitting pretty as the queen of pentacles. You could also tell me that everything between you guys has changed in you guys' relationship. And you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Gemini, you have the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. Hmm. So Gemini, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Gemini. Clarify the three of swords for Gemini. Clarify the three of swords 
for Gemini. It is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So listen, Gemini, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. So we'll see. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini. Clarify the page of wands for Gemini. It is clarified with the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the King of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the King of Cups. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Three of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So Gemini, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. <clears throat> now Gemini, you can tell me that your feelings got hurt or some type of heated discussion or argument here, some type of confusion. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Itchy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and you're... It's, you're telling me that your feelings got hurt with some type of heated discussion or argument. But you still have a great deal of love for this person. And hoping that you guys can reunite here. However, you can tell me that you found passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion with someone else. They had a third party here. And you're trying to master your emotions and not let them see you sweat. Goodness, i got to drink something. <clears throat> Sorry, Gemini. Okay. <clears throat> okay. You have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. <clears throat> so Gemini, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. Could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool. 
For Gemini, clarify the fool. For Gemini, clarify the fool. For Gemini. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that things are ending here. Things could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify the fool. I'm sorry. Clarify death for Gemini. Clarify death for Gemini. Clarify death for Gemini. It is clarified with the four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. You know, Gemini, you can tell me that they took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. This is the reason why you're going stagnant, taking a break and ending things with this person. But you can tell me that, yes, you guys are stagnant right now. You're on a break, but you could be meditating on starting new with this person. You know, starting new after an ending. You can tell me, yes, they hurt you with some type of argument. Yes, they hurt you because you found out they had someone else. But you may still have a great deal of love for this person and wanting to reunite. You could be in your head fantasizing about you guys starting new here after this ending. I want to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for you and your partner, Gemini. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I blame you for cheating because I was. I blame you for cheating because I was. Or oh, it was a blame game? The blame game. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Gemini. And it says, I want you. Are you fantasizing about getting back with this person? Goodness. Gemini, you need to know this right now for June the 5th through June the 6th, 2024. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe. Like comment and share and follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next week peace